What is up guys, Mashtick over here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install a bucket seat in your Infinity G37 or 370Z G35 or 350Z. So let's go ahead and get started. What we need, to, what we need is a bucket seat and a bracket. Don't just buy the bucket seat, you need absolutely the bracket for it. So now that I have two, I'm gonna go ahead and link both of them in the description. So let's get started. So what you wanna do is remove the passenger seat as you guys know, I dropped the video. I'm going to go ahead and link it down below. Uh, make sure you keep all the bolts uh, for the bracket. Make sure you have the seat belt because it's very important, the seat belt buckle. And you need the hardware that comes with the seat already. Do not worry about any of these connections except for this one, I think, for the um, seat belt right there. So let's get started. Before you put this bracket on, what you need to do is use this hardware to mount it onto the seat first okay this is very important now the way that this bracket is uh mounted because the passenger side this seat belt buckle mounting bracket right here is going to be facing the left side of the car you know don't don't put it like this and then put the seat on it make sure it's facing the correct way and then you want to put the seat on it now make sure you have clean hands or a clean pair of gloves because you don't really want to get your new bucket seat messed up i'm gonna go ahead and put it like this or what i'm going to do is probably put a piece of cloth on the ground flip it up and um uh, bolt it on so i'm gonna show you how to do that they're doing a little construction on my house so i'm gonna use a little bit of this cardboard i'm just gonna put it like here right there and I'm gonna go ahead and put the seat upside down, like so. Have it lean against right there. So it goes perspectively like this. Now, depending on where you guys wanna sit, and if you wanna like plan ahead on, you know, how, how tall passenger people or whoever wants to sit on the passenger side can be, um, the position of this is gonna vary. So if you're gonna put it like this, you're gonna put it like this, so that means that the person is gonna be really short. But if you put it like this, it wouldn't really matter where they sit because, you know, it's gonna get bolted on anyways. Now, the thing with these planted brackets is that it's never a 100% alignment with. So um, I prefer to put it like, hmm, let's see, right here, for example, where you might have to do some drilling, so. Just keep that in mind but here it looks like it's fine for me so this aligns this aligns this aligns and this aligns next thing we're going to do is just go ahead and put the bolts and the nuts and uh send it with an impact or with a wrench whatever is your tool of choice and put it in the car it's very simple so let me go ahead and get my tools i went ahead and got two of these bolts over here i'm going to show you how i did that so what you want to do it comes with um four long bolts and four short bolts so i went ahead and i used the four long bolts so the bolt and then the uh bigger washer goes right here and then the locking washer goes on the bottom it's kind of hard to do it you guys are going to struggle a little bit but it's 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 doable you know it's achievable so you want to put the locking washer and you want to put the nut on the bottom these nuts have a locking side and an open side so you want to put it on the open side and then just hold the nut on the bottom and literally just screw the bolt into the nut you don't try to screw the nut so and it's gonna stop because it has locking plastic and last but not least follow the same procedure <clears throat> for the last bolt if you guys have like a chair or something that you can put this bracket on and you're gonna make your life a lot easier but i'm just choosing to do this because it's the quickest method so um this is this is a bit tougher than i thought it was just annoying with with gloves but you need to wear gloves because you never know what's going to be sharp all right so i put the locking washer now comes the nut so you put it right under and you want to just hold it on from the bottom and just tie in so that's good till now so what you want to do is probably get it to the last to get it to like be even like don't keep it like this or that 
just try to eyeball it if you want i do have a digital caliper so but i don't think i need to use it because i mean i've done this many times so i already know exactly where to where to mount a seat so you know nothing nothing really that hard so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, send it with an impact using a wrench to hold this side what you want to do next is get your 13 millimeter along with your six millimeter um hex bit or hex socket this is a 13 millimeter wrench and you want to go ahead and put it like this or you can put it on the other side just tighten them all just a little by little i've already done that it's very simple and the reason why you want to tighten them not too snug is because you want to go ahead and align it to a point where you can align but like it stays snug in place so when you want to torque it up it just it just goes like right in so i'm just hitting it from here just to match the uh, gaps on the side as yeah so as i since it uh, as i said you guys can use a, uh, a digital caliper this is good over here good over there so it looks like we're good so i'm gonna go ahead and end it okay i'm just gonna move a little bit when you when you send it and as i said you don't need to use blue blue thread locker um uh, because they already oops wrong side because they already come with uh with locking nuts so okay, that's good and tiny as much as you can uh nrg does not send you any torque specs for these bolts so i'm just tying them to snug or as much as i can before i break them so put these impacts to the side um you don't really need to use the rest of the bolts you i mean you absolutely can if you want to make some holes here there there and there because none of these holes align with this bracket and i don't know why so next thing you want to do is go ahead and put it in your car I'm gonna put it in my infinity in this case i want to go ahead and get my seat belt bracket and i want to position it right here just to test fit it so the second thing that i want to do is go ahead and find a bolt and a nut now the bolt that comes with it i think i lost it but i have a lot of hardware so don't lose it when you remove it off the factory seat and what you want to do is go to the o'reilly's or home depot or autozone and find you a nut that matches that bolt that you removed from the factory seat so i'm gonna go ahead and find a bolt and a nut and i'm gonna show you guys how to install it in the car so I went ahead and I got some hardware to bolt that on, bolt it as much as you can, obviously without, you know, messing up the bolt and the nut. So second thing you want to do, just keep this exposed and you want to go ahead and lift up your seat from where you're supposed to lift it from right here and put it right in your car. Cool. Now that we have it in, you want to lift it up like this bring this match it with whatever goes in here so that goes in there this does not go in there none, none of them match it's only this one so just go ahead and put it right under i don't know what's got stuck to so all right go ahead and lift align it with these holes right here now getting this to fit is actually not as easy as you think you want to stick this off now put as many bolts as you can put this in try to put that on yeah there you go come over here oops i'm gonna put this one in this one's gonna be a little bit weird to go in well there you go and go ahead take it off put this one on this one might be a little bit weird no oh, i actually went right in it's giving me a hard time earlier so after you want to go ahead and get your impact get a swivel and a 14 millimeter and barely tighten on them evenly oops that's good went ahead and tightened that one as you guys can see then we'll go ahead and move to the front ones like so and tighten this one and tighten this one completely Torque spec on those is 30 foot pounds. 25 to 30 foot pounds is fine. I just got a wrench to tighten it. You wanna just tighten it like so, till it's pretty tight on there. 
and there you guys go. That is literally all it is. Put your tools over here, outside, and then put this where it was supposed to be at. And that was it, guys. This is exactly how you install this bucket seat. Please let me know if you have any questions in the uh, description. And thank you guys so much for watching.